Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today I'm going to show you how to remove a V-belt pulley. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. If you find this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week and let's get straight into it. Before making any repairs on any motor, such as removing a pulley, you're going to want to make sure you turn the power off to your system and lock out, tag out. As we can see, our shaft is extremely rusty, and whenever your shaft is exposed, what you're going to want to do is actually take a piece of sandpaper and try to sand it down. So when you're removing this pulley, it's easy to free up. There really is not much space to sand down, but I will attempt to sand down what I can and I will use WD-40 to penetrate the rust. If we look closely, sanding down the end of the shaft definitely was effective and this will most definitely make your job much easier. At the same time, I will spray some WD-40 all around the shaft. For technicalities, this is a fixed bore variable pitch V-belt pulley. While the WD-40 is penetrating through the rust, let's take a look to see what is actually holding this in place. If we spin this around, we have one Allen key holding this piece of our pulley together. And if we go down back here, we have another Allen key right here holding this side of the pulley together. Let's begin by taking apart our Allen screws with our Allen keys. That was a tight one. Okay, that's loose. Let's just get this up. The first Allen key is loose and this actually is nice and easy. We can spin this off. This is where our variable pitch pulley comes into play. It's super rusty here. I can't actually pull this out anymore, so that's gonna have to stay. And let's get to our Allen key that's in the back here. I do not have much leverage in the position where we actually have leverage. So here's a little trick of the trade. We're going to stick in our Allen key this way where we have less leverage. Okay. And we're going to take an adjustable. Like this, we're going to get some leverage. There we go, we just broke it free and we can loosen that up. Sometimes you could just pull this with your hand or use like a flathead screwdriver or something to kind of like pry it out, but I definitely do not recommend that. And to make life easier, we're gonna use a pulley removal tool. This is actually a three jaw puller. These pullers come in various sizes, so it's important to choose the appropriate size for your sized pulley. Let's begin by pulling this back and freeing this up. So this part here, we're gonna wanna center this on our shaft and these three jaws, we're gonna wanna clinch this on the back of our pulley. So this part takes a little time. I'm gonna try to wrap this around here. What you're really gonna want is to center this piece with the center of your shaft. It's going to take a little playing around to do, and once I get this together, I'm going to show you how this all comes together. As you can see, we are clinched, and we also are centered on the shaft. We're now all set up. If we look closely here, we can put an adjustable, or what I would recommend is you pull out your socket set and use that, as it will be much easier for you. And definitely do not use a drill, because I've seen this bar bend way too many times and you don't want this tool to be a one-time use and then you can't even get this pulley off and you got to run to the supply house and so forth so i recommend doing this by hand so as we tighten down on this rod these three jaws are actually going to pull this pulley right off the shaft
All right, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. A part of this pulley just broke off and snapped off. This is the reality. Things like this happen in the real field, and I'm gonna keep this in the video. That's how really rusted this is. So let's give this another attempt to actually get this thing off, because in reality, we're gonna replace this. It's really important that this stays straight, and honestly, it keeps going to the side. But that's why it's key to really get this part straight. Let's give it another go. This is not so easy. <laughs> this is my last shot from here. We're gonna have to bring out the grinder. And have a feeling we're gonna have to. Yep. All right, everyone. It's a new day. And let's let's grind this thing off, but carefully. All right. We got the first half off. And this is what we really need to take off. about cut let's just try to hit the other side so this thing could like snap in half All right. No, that's the oil? Yeah. All right. Got it off. Grinded it off. So I used the rigid metal cutting diamond blade. These are awesome, super strong. And we got through it. We did it. The main thing is that even though I got a little bit of markings here, it's no big deal. It's super thin. It's still round on the edges. Everything's okay. And Really, we just need this piece to be good and we can fit in our stock so we can lock down our locking screws. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.